Number 9, Alfredo. Most reviewers will tell you that Alfredo doesn't work. It does, but only on one emulator. If you're desperate to play this game, then the emulator you need to use is called Naztan. But why you'd want to play this game, I really don't know. As you select the game, you see that the real title is Alfredo and the Futuk. God knows what the fuck they meant by that, but let's not forget it's from the same people that said for play on the Nintendo Entertainment System and the people that spelled critical with a Y. So in Alfredo, you have to play as this chef and go around your enormous kitchen killing food with a frying pan. And yes, they were snorting cocaine when they came up with the concept for this game. Now how the fuck food can kill you is a mystery to me. Maybe they give you food poisoning or something. I don't really know. Now believe it or not, this is one of the better games on the cartridge, but it still suffers from its fair share of problems. For example, it has the same crappy control scheme that was in Ooze. You know, the one where you have to jump and then move? There's also that glitch where you fall down a hole and then come out the ceiling. Fuck, it's almost as if this game uses exactly the same engine as Ooze. Which of course isn't a good thing. Now there is a problem. There, that's 20. Apart from all the flaws which the game shares with Ooze, it also has some of its own flaws. I mean, why do the characters keep flashing like this? They're gonna give me a fucking seizure! Another major problem that I found was when I accidentally bumped into a slice of toast and died, and then the game gave me this flashing grey screen. And this screen does not disappear until you reset the game. <sighs> I'm not surprised this game doesn't work on most emulators. The emulator's probably thinking, Fuck this shit, I'm not running Alfredo. Yet another problem is that enemies sometimes randomly disappear. Look, there was clearly some sort of spaghetti there or something, and then it just fucked off. Well, that's three problems I just mentioned, making this one of the glitchiest games yet. Now, unlike all the other games that seem to just send you back to level 1 after completing them, Alfredo is different. Instead, the game crashes before you can finish the third level, meaning no matter how much you desperately want to, you will never be able to finish the game, and you'll have to reset your console. Oh, and that brings us to 24 problems. The tenth game on the cartridge is Operation Full Moon, an extremely easy game indeed. But I'm not complaining, the easiest games are the better ones, because you can fucking finish them quicker. You play as this moon buggy and have to shoot down all of these guns which seem to be firing themselves. What makes this game so easy is that the guns only fire in one direction, horizontally, so you can easily kill them before they have a chance to shoot you. There's literally nothing else to it. There are no other enemy types or anything, the whole game consists of shooting down guns. However, I must admit that I do like the choice of colours they use for the moon. Green, blue, orange, yellow, even fucking pink. It makes perfect sense, right? I mean, if you're gonna make a game about the moon, why use colours like white and grey when you can use pink and green? Everyone knows that the moon is pink and green. But don't go thinking that's the only thing wrong with this game. There is a glitch, a very minor glitch, but a glitch nevertheless. All you have to do is pause the game and then unpause it again, and the music completely fucks itself up. Have a listen to what the music is supposed to sound like. And now what it sounds like after pausing the game. Whoa. Yeah. Nasty. Holy fuck, this is bad. Problem number 25. You see, this is further proof that none of these games were tested before they were released. Anyway, I'll give you three seconds to guess what happens when you complete the game. If you said it sends you back to the first level, you were fucking right. Next game, Dam Busters. This is meant to be a game for little kids, however I would highly advise that you don't let them play it or they could go to bed and have nightmares for the rest of their lives. Yes, it's that bad. 
Well, in Dam Busters, you play as some bear who looks a lot like Winnie the Pooh who spent way too much time on the sunbed. You have to shoot down these evil green, white and pink bears, for what reason I don't know. This can sometimes be quite a bitch because the other bears shoot you in such a way that you sometimes have to die. Take a look at this. Can you explain to me how I'm supposed to avoid any of these bullets? Oh, and another thing that really pissed me off was at this part of the game. If you go too far into this top section, you're fucking trapped! There's no way to get out unless you get killed or reset the game. But for fuck's sake, this is meant to be a kid's game! Do you honestly think a five-year-old is gonna want to put up with this crap? Hell, do you think anyone is gonna want to put up with this crap? Well anyway, that's two problems I just mentioned. Apart from those obvious flaws, the game itself is still pretty simple. In fact, it's actually possible to just run through the whole level without killing anyone and you can make it to the end. If you're lucky. This is also one of the shortest games on the cartridge, being only two levels long. Now again, I'll let you guys guess what happens when you complete the game. Yup, that's right, you're sent back to the fucking first level. The twelfth game I'm going to suffer today is called Thrusters. Now there's a lot of glitchy stuff on Action 52, but Thrusters is probably the glitchiest one on there. Thrusters! This game is yet another scrolling shooter. No surprises there. Now where do I begin with all the glitches that this game has? Well, for a start, if you continuously fire bullets like this, no enemies ever show up. I wouldn't say this was a bad glitch, but it is a glitch. But that's nothing compared to the next one, so prepare yourself for something completely fucking insane. If you crash into something in the second level, this happens. Holy shit! This glitch is like the Masingno glitch from Pokemon times a thousand. I mean, what the fuck is going on? It's like the ship has split into a million different pieces and... Oh god. As you can imagine, the game is impossible unless you hit the reset button. But the glitches don't stop there. If you actually finish the second level without crashing, this happens! Seriously, what is up with these glitches? The game is flickering like a fucking Christmas tree. I mean, if you're epileptic, you're gonna seriously put yourself in hospital from playing this game. What with the flickering from Alfredo and now this. God only knows what could flicker next. Well, three problems for that game, which now takes us to 30 problems. And we're not even halfway through the game yet. <laughs> 